All right, we're on the draw in match five of this league, Rug Looting Delver. And this hand is not good, but it's probably just fine. Probably better than the average six. Flooded Strand showing its true colors here in denying us green and red mana. Really want to get a stomping ground. Not allowed. Um, Because I don't know if I'm going to draw the basic mountain or forest, I'm actually not going to play the Flooded Strand yet. We're going to leave on Island Delver. Otherwise, I probably would have played this and just held up Stubborn Denial and Dismember and then most likely just fetch a land tapped. Looks like we're up against Blue-White Control, which is definitely not a good matchup. What do we got, Delver? Misty Rainforest. All right, we found the land we wanted. Am I just going to slam Pyromancer? I don't think so. I don't think we're fast enough to kill under a verdict, so I think we're going to have to just dream here. It smells like they're holding up path because they were waiting for us to draw this. Ah, so if we're not slamming Peasy, we're just holding up counter magic, which definitely isn't good. But we can always go for the Delver Scry instead. And we can actually Denial plus Delver Scry on our upkeep, so I like that. Denial obviously being before we untap. In for one. Well, they paid shock and didn't do anything. Maybe they just wanted removal for the Delver? I don't know. Probably not another Death Shadow deck. I think we're going to take Delver Scry here over conserving our life total a bit because we're at 20 and against what seems like a control deck. Serum Visions is great. Don't want to shuffle that away. You have a path. You don't have a path. All right, let's put that into play. Don't think I need to Visions before attacks. It does give us more information. I like actually just holding on to the Visions until we go PZ plus Visions, because that lets us just get the ball rolling with the Elementals. But at the same time, I don't like not doing anything on this turn. Want to be a little more proactive than we are currently. Dismember definitely looking pretty pitiful. If they animate a Colonnade, it's going to look a lot better. We got to smash in for three. I think I do just want to use the Visions. Let's shock a couple times. We're going to get a Steam Vents. And a stomping ground here. Want to have double red. And we're going to cast visions. We just sixed ourselves. Land to the bottom, visions to the top. We found a vapor snag. That's not great. That is very, very not great. Notably, if that spire bluff canal were a traverse the Ulvenwald, our graveyard still only has land and sorcery, making that not great here. Ah, uh, that's going to resolve. I think we're going to have to try to counter the real spells. What if they're low on lands? I'm not going to hope that they're low on lands. They have way too much life and way too much stuff going on for me to hope to actually beat them before they find land drops. We're just going to hold our counter magic for the spells that matter. A spreading seas certainly matters. Let's just stop that right there. They get to draw a card, and they turn off our green source? No, sir. No, sir. Enchantment in the graveyard is actually quite nice for us. Um, I don't think it's PZ time, so I'm just going to keep at it. If we find another land now, I actually don't hate keeping it. Uh, let's bottom this one, keep PZ. Play this tap. Yep, we're going to play this tapped, and pretty soon we're going to actually drop a Pyromancer. Since we have the next one on deck, I don't hate that. If they go Verdict here, we definitely drop a Pyromancer. Um, even if they don't, there's a good chance we still drop a Pyromancer. I would like to speed up the clock a little bit. Can't counter that one, nor do we ever expect to. Let's draw another threat. 
Hooray! If they go to path this, I might actually just snag it, as opposed to going for the mana leak. Means we don't get to counter what they do on this turn here, but at least we still have the leak for the next turn. They didn't do anything, which is very interesting. Um, None of these spells are profitable. The two instants, well, two instants I can cast, one instant I cannot. So I'm going to untap here. They can, no, they can't animate this. Okay. Um, In that case, I think I'm going to attack because they might have cryptic. This is the part where the cantrip before slash after combat matters. Now we're going to cast Faithless Looting. Cool. I don't really want these Vapor Snags. I also don't want this island, so I think it's going to be one of each. And do I want to cast Forked Bolt? Make another token? Kind of. Kind of. Looks a little bad if they have another Verdict, because then this Pyromancer doesn't... Well, actually, there's a Faithless Looting over here. That kind of helps with the proactive Pyromancering. Pyromancering. That's 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 an interesting word. All right, let's see if we can uh, get in for a couple more points of damage off of that Forked Bolt. And make more dudes. What do we have here? Cryptic. Counter bounce. Counter draw. I'm actually going to let that happen. Verdict, still bad for me. However, I'm more looking out for hitting their win cons at this point because I do have that colonnade covered. So what I actually want to do here is make sure that they don't get to land something like a Teferi. And, well, we're going to try to kill them before they find enough stuff to fight through our stuff. Upkeep path? Yeah, that's an upkeep path. Um... I can actually Vapor Snag this Pyromancer and have a three-turn clock. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I do want to hold up Mana Leak, so I don't think I want to put the Pyromancer back into play unless I find an untapped land. But, oh, this isn't a three-turn clock. I messed up that. Oh, yes, it's still fine. No, I take one. They don't. Whoops. I messed up my math. That was a brain fart. Spell Pierce. That could be good. I don't think I want to put it into play in case they have land cryptic. I guess they can't cryptic the PZ now. So many decisions. Let's attack. They go to seven. Jeez. Snap. Path. Snap path? That's bad. That is desperation. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, I guess this means I can't profitably put the... Oh, they're doing it now. Oh, they're pathing their own Snapcaster Mage. That's clever. Um. Well, I'm not going to pierce that. As sad as it makes me, now I'm just going to hold up my Mana Leak, I think. You know what? I think... I'm probably just going to put the Pyromancer back down. Hold on to Spell Pierce. They can land something good here, but they might not. And that's the important thing. They might not. Snap Cryptic is A-OK. -okay. Oh, it's Snap Verdict. What am I talking about? Yep. Well, we get to untap and cast another Pyromancer. So, you know, there is that. Flooded Strand. Probably want to hold on to that one. Is Leak plus Pierce relevant? I don't think so. They can even get a path through that. We're getting there. We're still a ways away, but we're getting there. This is definitely in the territory of better for the opponent than it is us. Are we just passing the turn opponent? We are spreading seizing. 
Can't stop that, so I won't. Breeding pool is probably going to be found off of the flooded strand. Detention sphere. That's worth countering. Let's hope this resolves. I think it does. Don't think they run a lot of 1 CMC counters. They scooped! Wow, I did not feel like I was that close to winning that game. Okay, I guess they were running on empty. That's cool. Let's see what we bring in against blue-white control. Taking game one is great. All right, destructive revelry. Blow up some enchantments. Where we Let's put these all in front of the mandrills. I want them front and center. Hazarat. Late game beat stick. Hard to deal with. Uh, they can path it, which is very relevant. They also can ramp us into it with Path to Exile. Alpine Moon. I don't know if I actually want this. Can I put it here? I can. EE, -E, basically doing the same thing as Revelry, blowing up the annoying stuff, spreading seas, uh, detention sphere, Huntmaster. One, it's another thing we get ramped into, and it's kind of hard to answer. Yeah, it's it's a good threat. Uh, the rest of these I don't really like. Okay, so normally I believe I cut the Dismember and all three Vapor Snags. Yes. And both Forked Bolt, which I think sounds completely fair. So let's do that. The Forked Bolt I'm A-OK -okay with. I don't know if I actually want to get rid of Dismember here. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually benefited from an Alpine Moon yet. Maybe against Tron. I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I have once or twice against Tron. I don't know if Alpine Moon on Manlands is actually good. Dismember is also about as narrow. So it's not like I'm thinking one or the other is going to be that much better. I'm more considering do I want both as a second way to answer Colonnade, which is frequently very, very difficult for us. So I kind of want to drop a Lightning Bolt. Um, I don't know how good that is. I think it's actually going to be EE, because it's really not that good in this matchup. Let's do it, see how that goes. All right, heading into game two on the draw once more. Hand is great. Doesn't do anything on turn one, but, you know, it does stuff on two. Goyf, wow, does it ever do things on two. I actually want to find a third land, so I don't think I want to play this. On the other hand, I kind of want to play this, although I have nothing I want to discard, which is very awkward. I might do it anyways just to make this Goyf on two better. Um, what would I discard? I like everything here. Maybe Mana Leak? All the threats are good. Both of the lands are definitely good. I think I'm just going to pass on this for a turn. They don't run Bolt anyways. It's fine. What am I saying? I don't need Goyf to be big on 2. I need Goyf to be big on 3 when it's actually attacking. There we go. That's the money ticket. Which gives us a couple more turns to find something to dump to the looting. Although I can't say I'm excited to spend turn 3 looting. They do have Logic Knot up for 2 drops here. Huntmaster, wow is that a long ways away. Okay. Um, I actually think I'm going to play the Pyromancer. Because the Goyf is kind of better. And I think the first thing is getting answered. Or I play the Goyf to play around Spreading Seas. That's going to be the thing we do. Oh, Spell Snare? No, it's got to be Logic Knot. Remand in blue-white? Ooh, that's exciting. Can't say the last time I saw that played in a fair deck. 
Um, Misty Rainforest is a very good draw for us. I do want another green source sooner or later because of Spreading Seas. I They're going to be on four. The real scary Teferi is on five, so I don't need Leak up yet. That makes me want to go PZ plus Loot. But they know about Tarmogoyf. So they're probably not going to really go for the whole um, verdict there. Which makes me a little sad. I definitely want to get a breeding pool. It's possible I shouldn't have cracked this and should have just put Goyf back into play. But I think I'm fine with this. Let's get breeding pool. Two of each. I'm going... Oh, but all of my cards are good. Every single one. I don't want to cast looting. I'm gonna. I don't wanna. Am I gonna cast looting? I don't even know. I think I'm going to. Fuels, mandrills, and goif, and PZ. I guess it's okay. It's card disadvantage, but we have a ton of cards currently. I guess we made an elemental. That's not worth a card. Elemental plus putting things in the graveyard. I, I honestly want them to counter this. Feels bad. We found a land. Okay, we're going to dump Snapcaster Mage because we're just going to go beats. And if we're just going beats, I kind of want to dump the Mana Leak. And we are just going to go big, dumb creatures until the dust settles. Oh, that seems wrong. Do I dump a Goyf in case they have Rip? Rip hurts Mandrills almost as much, but maybe a little less. Huntmaster I want to keep. I kind of want that Mana Leak. I really kind of want that Mana Leak. And we have a lot of threats here. I'm going to have four threats before the one I discard. I'm very close to getting rid of this Tarmogoyf. Maybe it's Huntmaster. We just go speed? No. This is hard. Mandrills is bad against Colonnade. Let's go. That's the decision. PZ is also bad against Colonnade, but that's fine. Let's go, team. All right. I have no idea if anything there was smart, but you know what? We did it, so let's go. Three mana. What is this? Okay. That's pretty good against my board. And there is an annoying Gideon. All right. Well, that slows us right down. Bolt. Uh, we're probably just going to go Goyf, hold up, leak. I don't have good attacks, so I will not be attacking. We're pretty well just playing into a Supreme Verdict here, but we're kind of forced to. On the bright side, if they Verdict, we get to Bolt Gideon. Well, it looks like they're not Verdicting. And if they're just passing the turn, I think I want to cast this Lightning Bolt. They have a lot of life, so I kind of want to target Gideon. Uh, it's going to take forever to get through these tokens, though, and they can gang up on Tarmogoyf. That's probably acceptable. Doesn't feel good. That's for sure. Get to make another token. That's nice. Cryptic. Any counter, actually. Dispel. Absolutely. Well, we made a token, so that's nice. And we're going to crack this. Because I don't really want to find more lands. I'll take this tapped. What do we got? Another land. Okay, do I play it? Um, I want to attack their Gideon. They can trade a bunch of tokens for Tarmogoyf. I kind of want to just swing everything. In which case, do I target Gideon or them? Uh, magic's hard. This gets eaten. That gets eaten. That chumps. That gets eaten. So I take out a couple of tokens and do no damage. These both block here. These both block here. I trade Pyromancer and these two tokens for these two tokens. That's dreadful. Okay, we're not doing that. 
They didn't verdict there, so I'm just going to go ahead and play out this Huntmaster. Can't stop it from getting countered, so we're not going to try, fortunately. They don't have Cryptic up, so that's nice. Ah, uh, Goyf alone can attack, so I'm going to do that. I should have attacked first. That was a misplay. Goyf is going to threaten Gideon with death or threaten them with damage. Let's threaten Gideon with death. Looks like they're going to trade with it. All right. Um, really annoying that it put them in that order. Let's just uh, get rid of the good tokens. Yep. So we traded Goyf for two two twos. Uh, I'll put this back into play, or put it into play, because I want mana. I'm also going to want cards, but we'll find some bad ones sooner or later. Right now, that land seems like a good one. Do they have anything really scary? Five. Teferi. Well, that's going to likely just kill Huntmaster. Oh, it's ticking up. Okay. Then I guess they have something for three. Ousted. Yes. Uh, actually, before that, let's crack this. That seems like a good idea. I will grab another one of these. They might be pathing us here, but they might not. Let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, this is tough. Our attacks aren't very good, and their Planeswalkers are very scary. If they ever find Verdict, we're probably just dead, so I think we're playing right to the board. We have a Huntmaster on top of our deck, so that's something I appreciate. Uh, I don't mind attacking with this Wolf. I don't like attacking with the Elementals while that Knight is in play, and I don't like attacking with the PZ at all. I'm just going to say if they have Verdict, we're dead. If they don't have Verdict, we have a chance. Therefore, let's do all of this. And we will attack with the wolf. I don't think we're ever getting through both of those Planeswalkers, so I'm just going to try to poke them. We're probably dead if they ever find anything decent. Because those walkers are very scary. And they have a lot of chumps. Path, that's going to happen. I would like to not get rid of my Huntmaster. Thank you. Makes me a little sad I didn't hold up the Mana Leak, but that's okay. They draw more cards. That's bad. Yeah, I feel like we're just dead. We're not dead yet, so we're going to keep playing. But we are probably quite dead. This also gets to minus three as it feels. Oh, third from the top. I didn't know that. I did not realize that's where it went. So we could theoretically have infinite hunt map. Did they make our lands untapped? That's not a thing, right? I'm 90% sure that's what just happened. Untap two lands. They untapped my lands. Okay. I'm very confused. I guess they couldn't untap theirs. Maybe you have to untap lands. I didn't hit red. Sucks to suck. Huntmaster is getting countered. Oh, remanded. I like that. Like that. A lot. Yes. 
we're going to continue to not attack because our attacks are bad. Really, everything going on here is bad. We. I actually don't think it would be that out of the question to scoop. They do have this pretty well locked down. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty close to scooping territory. I'd rather just go to the next game. Uh, we'll draw a card. That's fine. We'll take this. You got it. Let's draw a card. I guess I could try putting Huntmaster back into play. It's just very unlikely that we're going to survive. They have a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot of stuff not going on. There's also a colonnade over... Yeah. I don't think we need to waste any more time here. We're dead. Game three. I still like what we have, so let's go. I will be on the play with a hand I can live with. It's certainly not great. It's got threats. Alpine Moon looking kind of silly right now. Don't want to play it on one. We'll probably put it into play eventually. A lot of one drops I would have preferred. Not that I would have those one drops in that slot. Well, we can make that basically do the same thing it always does because they don't have other colors. Visions. Okay. Let's play a Tarmogoyf. And then next turn, maybe play our one drops. If we hit another land, it's not out of the question to, to just slam Goyf and Visions. I could see that being good. Just try to beat them under the Supreme Verdict. Oh, Delver. I think I'm actually just going to play a Tarmogoyf here just because they did the visions for us. Hmm. I'd love to be able to play two threats this turn. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Let's get in for two and play another guy who will hopefully be swinging for, well, ideally more than two, but we'll take what we can get. Field of Ruin. Bolt. Okay. We can go Delver plus Bolt this turn. Let's start by attacking. I think we want to get this Bolt off immediately. I actually kind of don't want to play Delver. Just because it is in fact time for the verdict. That's Attackers. No blocks. Bolt you. Use this because our blue spells are good. Yeah, I think we're going to let them get the verdict off first. What do we have here? Remand. Okay. Instant is still in the graveyard, so I think this is actually fine. Let's visions. We'll try to gas back up to kill them shortly after the verdict. Um, Mana is tight, so I think I actually want to bottom this looting. Maybe that's wrong. Uh, I can hope to draw a land, or I can accept that I won't be drawing a land. Let's accept it. See how that works out for us. Go to them. If they don't have a verdict, we're actually in quite a good spot. I'm just operating under the assumption that they do have the verdict. They haven't used any removal. They don't have verdict. That is a second field of ruin. If they have it, they cannot cast it. They are ruining our mana. All right. Well, I'm going to get a forest. Am I going to get a forest? Yes. That's fine. Uh, does it come in untapped? It is. I can bolt them here. Do I just get the forest? I'll just get the forest. This is an oust. I will gain some life. We went with the forest because we have more green fatties we want to put into play. We can go looting plus mandrills, so that's decent. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. <sighs> that is rough. That is very, very rough. They found removal. 
We can't stop it, so it's going to happen. Do I get a land or looting? I get an island here, and then I can cast Delver plus nothing. Because the graveyard is not quite full enough to play Mandrills off of one land. Or I can go looting Mandrills, but then we have one fewer land in play. I'm going to use its ability. Let's grab an island. Peasy. Well, we do have threats for days. All right. Which one of these four threats are we going to cast? Delver is good if I want to slam Alpine Moon, but I feel like I don't. Maybe I do. Just make sure this never bothers us. No, I need more stopping power than that. Uh, if I delve the graveyard, they have land, sorcery, instant. All right, let's do that. Snapcaster Mage is probably flashing back that Lightning Bolt anyways, so I don't care about these cards in the bin. Possible we should have gotten the basic Mountain for PZ plus Bolt, but we just drew the PZ, so that's not relevant. That's not a Verdict. It's Cryptic Bounce. Ooh, it's that Jace. For a second, I thought it was Scary Jace. Who actually would have had to bounce the Mandrills here, and then we get to Bolt it, so it's not that scary. Um, this ticked up. I don't think I care about your Jace. I just want you dead. So let's start with that. Yes. 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 They go down to nine, and I want to put more threats into play. Uh, do I want to go peasy? Not really, because I want to bolt, untap, snap, bolt. So I think it's going to be Tarmogoyf and pretty much force them to have Cryptic or Verdict. Or two pieces of removal. Actually, one piece of removal might do it. Um, I will give you Dispel and Hallowed Fountain because Teferi is very good. I... did they take... no, they did not take Teferi. Cool. Alright, do you have Verdict? Yes. Cool. Um, bolt snap bolt? Maybe. Maybe. It's not quite enough to outright kill them. That makes me kind of not want to finish them off. Uh, let's Alpine Moon here. We're going to name the colonnade. Celestial colonnade. Kind of weird that there aren't other cards whose names start with Celestial. A lot of angels in the, d in the game. I would have expected more Celestials. We are really low on time. Or rather, we're really down on time. Um, huh. Well, they're going to take Path anyways. But they didn't take Path. Okay. I guess that means they already had removal. Gideon, you got it. Okay, that's going to slow down Goyf. Um, we can actually snap bolt that. Don't know how good that is for me. Oh, so if we snap bolt, that's the entire turn. Makes me pretty sad. If we we can choose to just play a bunch of threats, that makes me less sad. I think we're gonna go for the snap bolt here. Yeah, you know what? I actually think I should bolt their face, just in case they do have a path. Should have swung with the Goy first. I think this was a bit of a misplay. There's the Dispel. I knew about the Dispel. Whoops. Well, we have a lot of threats, so we're just going to keep getting in there. They have a lot of stuff to deal with our threats, but we have a lot of threats. If they feel to ruin the steam vents, we probably just get a mountain. There's a dude to block the goif. Or maybe it's going to trade with Snapcaster Mage here. Who knows? I like them going down to five. 
five mana. There's Teferi. Feels like we probably lost. They're going to untap. They have Cryptic up now. They have a lot of cards. I think we lost. That's okay. Untap some lands. Put that into play because we now have mana. Let's swing. We are definitely just targeting them. Um, attack. Oh, there we go. All at the player. Snapcaster looks pretty silly as a 1-1, one, one, but that's probably fine. There's a path. Now it's less fine. Possible you visions first. Let's use this. I will get a mountain, I guess. Snapcaster is now going to eat it to a 2-2 two, two token. Let's see. I want to go Delver, Visions, and Pyromancer here. Stomping Ground's gone. Oh, they field ruined it. Okay, well, red. Yeah, you know what? I think I actually want more green. Yes. Let's do that. Got to make sure we tap that forest because these are both blue. Pyromancer actually looks really bad here. Against the impenetrable tutus. Can I have a lightning bolt? Not bolts. Ooh. I like mandrills. I almost like delver. I am strongly considering it just because it flies. Yeah. I expect delvers to get answered. All right. Your turn, opponent. That is... This is just long. This I guess this is why people don't like playing against control. This is just fatiguing. All right. They're down to four. That's nice. I wonder if they actually need all that mana. That's a lot of mana. They have attacks. They're not fantastic. The elemental actually can't attack at all. Well, not profitably. It will be an 0-1. Delver, likewise, won't be attacking because we topped a Delver. I could see flashing back visions, but I really just want two shots at a bolt. So I think this turn is going to be... Um, we are losing our Delver, but that's probably okay. I'll take a land. This turn is probably just Mandrills. We can't Bolt Snap Bolt, which makes me sad. That means we're going to have to think about our turns. Oh, that's new. Cool. Nice, nice. We are now operating without Delvers. That's sad. I like Delvers. They fly. Well, ideally. Um, honestly, I don't have bad cards right now. Do I want to snap visions? Not really. Do I want to pretend I have mana? Doesn't matter. Let's get rid of some stuff. We have lots of stuff. Uh, a lot of our decisions just don't matter at this point. We're not pretending we have counters. Well, we technically are pretending we have counters, but it doesn't matter because the opponent just has a boatload of mana. Mana leak doesn't do anything, so they don't need to worry about that. And secure the wastes. Sphinx's Rev. You know what? That's okay. I don't think we're getting through this with that much life. We had a chance of burning them out through these Planeswalkers. Once they get to 8 life, we're not winning the medium game. And I don't think we're winning the short game anymore. There's no way we're winning the long game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one.